Are you someone who looks upon the cosmos in awe of the glory of the heavens above? Are you someone who is interested in science that is holding up the entire universe? Then here we are to provide you a basic insight on how to become an astronomer. Astronomy is a natural science that studies about the celestial objects and phenomena. Now, astronomy applies various principles in subjects of mathematics, physics and chemistry. So this is the list of famous astronomers. We have written only few and there are many other honorable mentions. Starting from Galileo to today's Stephen Hawking, they have rendered commendable work in the field of astronomy. Now, Coming to the most important thing, how to become one. In school, until 10th, you need to be strong in subjects like mathematics, physics and chemistry. Now, here comes the long road from 12th class to PhD. In 12th, you should attempt exams like JEE to get into one of the top institutes in India. Astronomy positions require a PhD in astronomy degree. Generally, it takes from 5 to 7 years. Now, after this, a postdoctoral program might take from two to three years. So let us look what are the exams you need to write, what is the long road ahead in order to become an astronomer. So this. So in 10th, as I told you, you need to be strong with the concepts in mathematics and physics. In 12th standard, you should get into science stream. And as I told, you should appear for good exams like KVPY. Cracking this exam will let you apply for IASC, which is one of the best institutes in India for research. Now you should write JE mains and advanced to study the undergraduate bachelor degree. Now coming to the most important part that is undergraduation BSc or BTEC. To pursue a career in theoretical or observation astronomy, one can do BSc in physics or mathematics. Or for pursuing a career in experimental and instrumentation astronomy, one can do BTEC B with an inclination to physics. The branches are engineering physics and life science and mathematics. For post-graduation programs, in India there are few opportunities like integrated MTech plus PhD program at Indian Institute of Astrophysics. And in post-graduation, an MS in Astronomy or Astrophysics at Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology would be really helpful. For PhD, Joint Entrance Screening Test, just which is conducted in the month of February, you need to attempt that, which consists of with 50 questions with negative marking for wrong answers. Now, the eligibility for JEST is, you need to have a post-graduation degree in physics or M.Tech degree in engineering. So, while pursuing your undergraduate degree, you can try for summer internships in one of the top universities. Like you can try for summer internships at IUCAA, Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics and institutes like IIA, that is Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Getting certified in top institutes like those would help to improve your profile to a great extent. Now, coming to the institutes to pursue your undergraduate degree, these are the top institutes in India. If you want to pursue a career in BSc Science, there are some other good colleges like Loyola College, Christ University, Sri Venkateshwara University, Hansraj College, Ferguson College, etc. And there are many other good colleges in India. Joint Admission Test JAM, it has been conducted by IITs from 2004 for programs like MSc, PhD, Joint MSc, PhD and other dual degree programs at IITs. Next is JEST, Joint Entrance Screening Test. Now students who are seeking admission for a PhD or an integrated PhD program in Physics or Theoretical Computer Science or Neuroscience may appear for this screening test. We have provided a reference link. You can go through that link and find out the criteria for the courses which you are going to apply. So some of the renowned institutions are Indian Institute of Astrophysics Bangalore, National Center for Radio Astronomy, Usmania University Hyderabad, Indian Institute of Science Bangalore which is one of the best institutions in India, Raman Research Institute. Now most of this institutions offer opportunities to the aspiring candidates based on a joint entrance test followed by an interview. A special mention of the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology 
it offers courses to aspirants at the undergraduate and postgraduate and doctorate level now programs offered at iast are streams such as engineering and science with emphasis on aerospace as i said a special mention for students who has bsc degree in physics or maths if you do well in your bsc course you can apply for msc astronomy in iit indore now the best colleges after you qualify for just are these are the institutes that is harish chandra research institutes formerly mehta research institute of mathematics and mathematical physics Indian Institute of Astrophysics IIA Bangalore Institute of Physics IOP Bhubaneswar Institute of Plasma Research IPR Gandhinagar Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics IUCAA Pune Inter University Consortium for DAE Facilities IUC DAEF Indore Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research JNCASR Bangalore and the rest of the institutes are as follows Now there is a joint astronomy program this course is of one year duration it is conducted by indian institute of science iisc bangalore msc b and btech degree holders are invited to apply after the completion of the course candidates are offered the opportunity for completing their phd at one of the participating institutes now the autonomous research institutes are as follows they offer a phd program after selection through interview now coming to careers and salary there are various job opportunities in private and public sectors after your degree you can get into one of the top organizations in india like vikram sarabhai space research center isro indian space research organization and iucaa inter university center for astronomy and astrophysics and baba atomic research center not only these centers there are other organizations as well the starting salary for a basic scientist or an engineer will be 50000 the salaries of project directors might vary up to 25 to 30 lakhs per annum the rest of the salaries are as follows now coming to relative careers depending upon the specialization in phd or post doctoral degree one can be a planetary astronomer a radio astronomer solar and stellar astronomer a cosmologist or he can be a galactic and an extra galactic astronomer so it is known that 55% of the astronomers work in universities or they are affiliated to universities through research not only this astronomers can work in science museums or planetoriums and interested people can also work in the field of science journalism now you might be thinking what would be the future yes so astronomy is a dynamic and rapidly evolving field with new observations and understandings like uh, water on the moon and mars and geysers on the satellites of jupiter saturn neptune astronomy has a vital role to play in the coming years next we'll go to the pros and cons the pros are apart from the good salary one can avail benefits which include paid holidays vacations health insurance and pension plans now as technology advances as we know it will astronomers constantly develop new skills so it's an ever prospering field and most astronomers find their work exciting and personally rewarding because of the challenges it offers them next cons the most important thing most astronomers spend their time working in offices or observatories this work can occasionally require long hours they need to maintain a good work life balance second and the most important thing one needs to be really patient and devote long hours for months or even years on the details of a research program by parallelly maintaining all the other activities of his life there are limited number of seats available in top research organizations so one needs to be really proficient and exceptionally talented to join this organization now being an astronomer is exciting it is the lifestyle you had chosen as an astronomer you track study and review the data of energy emitted between two stars or movement of two planetary bodies then you collect and analyze this data and you work with astrophysicists and mathematicians to find a better ways of describing the movement or the interactions between various bodies of matter in space as an astronomer you work in observatories or universities with large computer equipment as an astronomer you can be associated with 
top organizations in private or public sector or as i said earlier you can be in the field of science journalism the thing you can act as a consultant for other areas of scientific research such as electronic communication technology as an aspiring astronomer one can expect working under close supervision long hours traveling to remote sites for research not only that you will be having some work related to teaching assistantship and some extensive number crunching you will experience now the stages are initially you will be an assistant handling some very long government projects for 2 to 3 years after gaining good experience you will be moving from assistants to associates and after 5 years or 6 years experience approximately you will getting managerial type jobs now after 10 to 15 years of experience you will be heading some academic institutions or some private research organizations or you can head some observatories as well but the important part is you will be gaining a great respect from all over the country if you are a scientist in isro or baba atomic research center believe me people will look at you with great respect now the veterans who have 20 to 25 years of experience sometimes they might involve less in research but they'll involve more in getting the projects done and getting the funding from the government mainly this is about the career in astronomy and believe me we have wonderful institutions in india through which you can choose your career in astronomy and succeed thank you with this we end this session in few days we will be releasing a video on how to pursue career related to astronomy in foreign universities thank you if you like the video please hit the like button comment and share it with your friends also don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos